couple of weeks back, Westpac Commercial released a 100% LVR product. And the way brokers and Westpac bankers are talking about it, it might seem like the best thing since sliced bread. Well, I've taken the time to look at this product and I wanted to break down the advantages and disadvantages of this loan offer. Now, credit when credit's due. The few things that Westpac have done really well with this product. The first is being able to take a residential or commercial security up to 100% LVR. Now this is really good for an owner or a property investor because it reduces the deposit required to purchase that property. The second thing Westpac have done is streamline the documents needed. So a business owner only needs one year's financials to be eligible for this product and a lot of the liabilities and loan repayments that you may have are self-declared. The third thing that's great about this offer is Westpac is now offering loans that are unsecured, that's without property security, up to $500,000. Now, it's great to see Westpac try and take back market share from lenders like Juro Bank, as well as non-bank lenders that have emerged like Shift and Grow Capital. Finally, Westpac are now saying that tax debts are okay, as long as you're on a payment plan and up to date with those repayments. Now, I want to talk real about this product. These things I'm about to bring up aren't necessarily bad, but are part of the fine print that make this loan harder to get than may first appear. Now, the first thing to note is that despite the attractive LVR, this is still a full doc product, at least in terms of verifying your income. That is, Westpac will want to see the full flow of your income from your trading business to any trust, right down to you and any corporate beneficiaries. The second thing to note is this is still a product very much dependent on serviceability. So the more you borrow, the higher your income needs to be to afford the loan. And there's no shortcuts in terms of demonstrating this income through a full doc paper trail. Thirdly, when I read all the documents provided to brokers how to position this product, this is a loan that's very much targeted towards self-employed clients rather than the passive property investor. Things are mentioned like the bank is happy with a servicing deficit based on the rental income alone, but they're going to look to the cash flows of a business to supplement that deficit. And finally, the combination of one, two, and three makes me feel that this product is really only for the strongest of self-employed clients. This is because you need full documentation in terms of your income. And secondly, you need to demonstrate serviceability and group serviceability, including affording all your household commitments. I also know from the COVID period that Westpac is a very conservative bank. And this is from the very low number of small business loans they issued that were under the government guarantee. So I hope you find this useful. And if you have any more questions or queries about this product, please feel free to reach out to me.